Welcome to the new update to Kingdoms and Castles. First off, we have a new dragon type. This dragon flies more slowly than the others, but will specifically target your military infrastructure, such as archer and ballista towers, blacksmith and archer schools. And it appears a little later than the others, depending on the difficulty mode. We have a new building, the Greek Fire Tower. This tower will shoot a blast of Greek fire. It is extremely effective against ground units and ships. A fully skilled Greek Fire Tower can completely sink a ship with a single blast. However, it has some drawbacks. It requires eight people to operate it, it has a very short range, and it can't attack dragons. It also consumes charcoal when fired and takes a while to reload. If it catches on fire, it has a chance to explode and start fires around it, so be careful with that one. Vikings can now deploy their own catapults against you, so be careful. If you don't see any trolls, they can still bring it. In Warfare, it looks like archers can now fire from ships. When stopped, catapults will still auto-attack military buildings, and they have an increased range, as well as an increased damage to non-stone buildings. You can now demand tribute from the AI. The results of this demand will depend on their personality, relative military strength, mood, and if they can afford it. If you ignore the AI too much, they might get angry and attack you, so be careful. There's also a whole bunch of new conversations that you can have. They're pretty fun. It makes the game just a lot more, I don't know, alive. But that's it for this update. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'm going to be making a new series on Kingdoms and Castles pretty soon, so make sure you stick around.